and this blew my mind when I saw it. Take it over here to the left. This is the golden area, the golden area of Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro is a great editing software, but there's probably some common annoying issues that you come across while editing videos. These are my top five things that I've come across recently within Premiere Pro. They grind in my gears just a little bit. If you're into that kind of thing, I'm a video editor by trade. My name's Javier Mercedes. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you like this kind of content. So the things I'm gonna bring up aren't in any particular order, so I hope you stick around because they could help you in the long run. The first one has to do with sequences and bringing them out into the open within Premiere Pro. And what do I mean by that? I'm going to reveal this sequence in the project bin right here. I have this example sequence right here, but let's say I want to open the project and have that sequence out in the open, not inside a bin because I want to get to it really quick. In order to do that, you might do something like this. You grab it and then you scroll all the way down and then bring it out like this. Uncarrot these, then you get something like this. Don't do that. Stop doing that kind of thing. I'm going to show you how to do it way faster the same situation. Right click, reveal sequence and project. All you have to do, and this blew my mind when I saw it, take it over here to the left. In this area right here, this is the golden area, the golden area of Premiere Pro. Drop it, and then all of a sudden, your file is out in the open outside of any bins. Now this could go with footage too. Let's say you really like my VO track, Javier VO8, and you need to have access to that for a whole bunch of stuff. You just click and drag it over to this left space and it will take it outside the bins. Hello, I hope that helped you. Number two. So this second example is if you are in a specific window and then if you take your cursor and go up to another preset window, and then all of a sudden you click on it and all of your windows are gone. Like what? All you gotta do is Take your cursor, go up to the window tab, go to workspaces, and then go to reset save layout. And boom, all of your stuff will be there. Annoyance number three that I encounter in Premiere Pro on a consistent basis is moving the in or out point of multiple tracks at the same edit point. In this example, I have a music edit. I want this edit point right here to go to right here. In order to do that, you might select all of these and then move it over, but it's not letting me move the track over at all. I, I can go like this, or if I were to hold command, I could use the modifier to move everyone over one by one, but don't do that. Do not do that. All you gotta do is highlight just one side, then hold command and move over like that. Number four, sometimes when you're working with projects, you might have things grouped. You click on one file and it moves all of the files at once. What's happening is all of these files are grouped. So what you can do is highlight them all and click ungroup. Now I have these where I have them on their separate files. Taking this a step further, if you ever want to unlink files or move your material within your edit space without having them linked to each other, click this little linked selection button right here. So I'm gonna move this. I'm just gonna move the video and now it will tell you how much out of sync these pieces are. And then let's say I move this clip over here. Could be beneficial in some circumstances or not, but if you click this now, back to linked selection, now they will move accordingly to their own linked selection. And if you ever get things out of sync, you can always right click here and hit move into sync and then it will move it back into sync. Very cool, Premiere. The very last thing that I have for you is rectified audio waveforms. Normally when people open up Premiere, their audio waveforms look like this. My background's in audio engineering and Pro Tools, and to see audio waveforms in this manner really grinds my gears. I always find it easier to edit video and audio within Premiere if you're not looking at the waveforms like this. What you can do is go here in this checkbox right here, Rectified Audio Waveforms. Uncheck that, and then you get the nice symmetrical waveforms that I'm looking at. Other people may be just used to looking at Rectified. I don't know. I really like utilizing this kind of wave form because it looks natural to me. You guys have other things that have been pestering you and you have solutions to them? Put them in the comments down below. If you like this piece of content, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and just say hey, hey say, share it out via tweet, any of those types of things. Till next time, live a life of abundance, and I will see you guys on the next video. Also, one last thing, if you guys are interested in preset packs and Premiere Pro, I will have those coming out soon. If you want to get on the list and get notified when I have those packs come out, go ahead and check the links in the description down below. Bye.